This is how I waste my evening trying to figure out how to pronounce words. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First things first, do you like my new hair? I've gone quite short this time. Uh, I went to the hairdressers on Saturday and the hairdresser was really asking me if I actually wanted to go this short and I said yes, I've wanted to go this short for ages. I've had uh, long hair for a good six years I think. So um, I just wanted to look a bit different and I went for this. In today's video I'm going to be doing something a bit more different. I'm not going to be talking about makeup, fashion, bags and all of that. I'm actually going to be talking about skin and how I got rid of my acne. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. I'm wearing my Christmas jumper today. I uh, just came back straight from work and we had our Christmas meal and it's nice and comfortable and cozy so I just thought I'll keep it on. The reason why I wanted to talk about this subject is because it hits very close to home. I've suffered for many years with severe cystic acne. This type of acne you cannot get rid of with external products. It all started after I got my period so I actually got my periods when I was 14 years old and although I was a little bit later than uh, most of my friends uh, little did I know how much that is going to affect my skin. At first unfortunately due to many many mistakes that I've made at first I thought that uh, it's going to go away that's what I was told by um, everyone, by my GP, by my sort of my uh, family doctor. Um, I was told that it was going to go away. It's just uh, this acne is going to is the type of acne that you get when you are uh, in your puberty, when you're an adolescent. That wasn't the case. It just got worse and worse. I'm actually not wearing too much makeup today. I haven't actually put that much. Uh, foundation or uh, the amount of foundation that I normally put when I do a video I try to keep my uh, skin uh, as clear as possible for you guys to see uh, what my skin looks like now so it gives you uh, a clear representation by the time I turned 16 it just got worse I will introduce pictures in the video but when you're that age you are quite insecure as it is you're you know trying to figure out who you are. The problem with acne, it doesn't just appear on your face, it spreads out across your body. By the time I was 17, uh, 18, my acne went down on my chest area, went down on my back area. At that point I was doing modeling. Uh, I was uh, doing modeling quite seriously uh, and I was doing it internationally and it just was knocking my confidence so so much. I used to have to use uh, foundation on my back, on my. It, it, I had to use foundation everywhere I got spots. The only thing that helped me was uh, staying in the sun uh, because the sun would dry the acne. So, actually, when I lived in Dubai, was probably the only time um, that. I didn't have acne or I had less acne. By the time I was 17 my mom decided to help me a bit more because she could see how much it was impacting my um, confidence so she got me some facials at this dermatological place. It was basically um, a dermatology clinic uh, let's put it this way, where you could go um, and have different type of facials, what type of acne or what type of skin problems you had uh, that was depending on the type of treatment that you could have had. So this cost quite a bit of money and I used to have them maybe not every single week but probably every every other week um, and one treatment would cost you maybe around 30 pounds and I mean this was Romania and this was a lot of money but bless her she she got me anything that I wanted in order to help me um, with my you know with my acne and I did that for six months eight months and I just didn't help I didn't know what to do in the summertime I used to love it because I'd sit in the Sun as much as possible and it had helped dry the um, the spots but really nothing else happened 
with the facials it did help um, with the redness um, it helped a little bit because I used to get um, quite uh, oily skin this type of acne that I had would uh, create very very oily skin especially around my nose um, and on my forehead by the time I was 18 it was the worst that it could get it spread across my face it was around my chin my neck my um, cheeks my forehead everywhere and they were so 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 painful um, as I said the facials would help with the redness a little bit but it just got to the point where I just didn't know what to do it was clear to me that this wasn't just external this had to be treated differently when I got to the dermatologist um, thankfully I managed to get an appointment with the best dermatologist uh, in the city the first thing that he did after you know we had a chat and after um, I was talking to him about my skin and my skin journey he decided to put me on this medication and the medication is called uh, so, so treat I'm probably mispronouncing it and it's very 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 strong I mean very very strong and actually it says that you cannot use it more than twice in your lifetime so the doctor did uh, the test the blood test uh, and uh, he decided that this treatment would work for me um, and it's based on your medical condition, uh, your weight and all of these things so he had to take all of that into consideration so luckily he decided to put me on the treatment which was literally a gift from God so I started the treatment pretty much straight away and he's put me on a treatment of three months so three months um, I had to take uh, two pills a day um, one in the morning, one in the evening if I'm remembering correctly and one pack was actually quite expensive and again this was 12 years ago so one pack was around 30 40 pounds um, and in Romania this is like a lot of money it do doesn't matter as long as it works and it did it worked within the first I would say month and this was during the winter time so it the Sun or anything else wouldn't have impacted the treatment you can clearly see uh, that the medication helped. So I moved over to the UK in January uh, of 2007 and I had one more month of treatment and carried on without any more medication. I should have really gone back to the doctors because she did say, he did say to me uh, you need to come back uh, and see uh, if it's, uh, we need to, you to carry on or not but I didn't. So by June my skin was uh, getting worse and worse after then it was absolutely fine you know my uh, acne uh, was gone um, I wasn't having uh, so many problems but by June it started to get worse and worse and the trouble is with acne you can tell the difference you can tell the difference when it are just spots and uh, you know you have some blackheads here and there but acne they're just lumps on your face I then by the end of that year I started then going to the GP in the UK they then prescribed some uh, creams and they prescribed uh, they didn't prescribe anything to do with medication I really should have just gone back to Romania and seen my doctor I didn't do that it took me two years to actually go back to dermatologist I tried everything I tried all these uh, creams and nothing worked but the problem is with the doctors in the UK they will not send you to a dermatologist uh, because it's expensive you know they advise me if I wanted to go private they'll give me a name of a dermatologist but it was very expensive a dermatologist costs a, for a just for an appointment it costs about 200 pounds plus the medication so I didn't I didn't do it it was very very silly of me two years in I finally went back and seen a new doctor because the previous doctor uh, actually went into retirement so I seen this lovely lady who I even see till this day she basically put me back on this medication this medication is very very strong and I'm gonna read it off uh, what I found online because it's been over 10 years now that I've used it uh, this medication is used to treat severe cystic acne also known as nodular acne that's been not been responding to other treatment 
it belongs to a class of drugs known as retinoids it works by decreasing facial oils oils production high amount of sebum so facial oil can lead to severe acne if left untreated it may cause permanent scarring so the side effects uh, could be dry lips mouth minor swelling of the eye, um, eyes uh, eyelids or lips crusty skin nosebleeds upset stomach thinning of hair the only side effect that i had by um, from this was a uh, very dry lips and very dry skin and dry hair and I think it caused me so much dandruff I think I even potentially uh, the reason why I have dandruff nowadays is because of that it might not be the case I had to have with me uh, lip balm all the time because my skin and my lips is so dry I was on this treatment for eight months and in those eight months I carried on taking the meds in the morning and in the evening so twice a day and she told me that after this this is it I cannot continue on this medication you're pretty much done you do it twice in your life and that is it but luckily it, it sorted it out I was absolutely fine like look at me it's been years now it's been over 10 years and I do not suffer with acne thank, thank God for that she did also advise me to go and see the uh, gynecologist which I did because I then had to go onto the pill and I am still on the pill after all those years the problem with hormones and the problem with abnormal uh, hormones and imbalance in hormones is that it doesn't just uh, you know resolve overnight you have to go on the pill unfortunately and I did and it works absolutely fine for me um, and I have actually come off the pill for a few months uh, just to see if it changes uh, my skin and if it affects my skin and it didn't thank God for that so after all of those years it's basically sorted throughout the years at school I constantly had to wear foundation and had to wear makeup because I had to hide um, all of these imperfections so yeah if you've got acne go straight to the doctors go to the dermatologist find the right treatment for you don't just take anything and hope that it will work make sure you have the right test the right blood test uh, for them to uh, identify what's the, the right course of treatment obviously this uh, medication worked for me and it worked for me very well but it's a very very strong medication and I would not advise you to just go and buy it I'm pretty sure that you can't just buy it you need a doctor's prescription for it but just don't waste your time for all those uh, you know lotions potions all those creams that just do not work I still have bad skin I oh, it's all depending on the type of skincare that I do if I remove my makeup if I um, you know apply creams if I uh, wash my face and I, and I really do and it also uh, depends on your diet and how uh, much how, how much you keep yourself hydrated how much water uh, you drink how much sleep you get that's a very very important one and uh, making sure that you just take care of your skin and also uh, making sure that you don't eat a lot of junk food for me chocolate is the worst I once ate a whole jar of Nutella and it affected my skin so so much I'm definitely not doing that again but at the end of the day skin is important and it's, it makes us feel more you know better about ourselves uh, it definitely does for me so do do take care of your skin so this is it for me today thanks very much for watching I'd love to know in the comments below if you have any questions around skin care if you've got any problems with your skin that you'd like help with please do let me know in the comments below in the meantime please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and turn on the notification button because it tells you when i upload a new video which is every monday and i'll see you soon